rotational molding is perfect for a low volume to mid volume run of parts that are needed. It's a low cost tooling solution so you can do a quick prototype and get started really easily. Hi, I'm Mike Dishman with Molar Products and we're all about the rotational molding. The rotational molding is its a science that you have to learn. We take a two-part mold and we put the plastic inside of it and we heat that to a certain temperature and create an axis to where it's spinning and you end up with basically a centrifugal force part that gives you a hollow part on the inside. We have a mold shop inside our facility that can actually make the molds right there where we stand, cut out a lot of costs that are unnecessary. Everything seems big. Uh, this is the normal size products that you see. You'll see basically like a fuel tank, you'll really be able to find a lot of rotational molded fuel tanks. We're really known for that above most things. Uh, we do branch out into other areas. You've got water tanks and battery boxes and we can make you know three or four gallon tanks we can do you know a thousand gallon or larger just depending on what your particular needs are well what this is is it's a battery box and it is really just that you put your batteries in here for like a marine industry boat battery it's typically not a lot of detail but you can get markers with your names and you know logos and things like that put into it this part right yeah. here is actually cut from our cnc machine in uh, the factory what you have here is an example of a typical fuel tank that you're going to find and just different fittings that we have on here. You have the fittings that have different capabilities. In this case, this would be a pickup tube to where it withdraws the fuel out of the tank and sends it to an engine. And this may do it to a secondary port and you'll have like a vent line or something of that nature. The aluminum fittings we do not make, we source those out, but we can put, you know, different fittings and different configurations on basically anything. We do have a aluminum tank and why that's relevant is because that really helps us on somebody that has a first run prototype. They're not ready to even go to tooling. We can start off with just that one part and make it out of aluminum and say, this is the concept. What do you think? And you know, now we've not even broke the ice with the tooling. What you have here is called cross-link polyethylene. You think of it in scientific terms and it's really like a cross-link fence. At the molecular level, it weaves in and out just like you've seen in your backyard. These tanks are really rugged and durable because they've got that strengthening bond in it. Now, if you ever try to cut one, you can't repair it because you can't do the same thing after the fact. It's a molecular change. These products are gonna be what we call linear polyethylene. Exactly like it sounds, it's layer upon layer. It's a buildup of how the plastic melts and forms together. So it's just one on top of each other. Those can be fixed and repaired as needed. We're in Sparta, Tennessee. It's a little small town that most people don't know, but it's about an hour and a half east of Nashville. Our footprint of the building is actually about a 300,000 square foot facility and we house quite a few different ovens. And you know, we have a couple hundred employees on staff at all time. We are ISO certified and we're always doing the continuous improvement on that. And as far as help goes, we don't do the design for you, but we do make it friendly to our ovens and find the happy medium to where it's going to work in the way that you need it. We've got parts that are bigger than I can reach, I can stand next to and I can be dwarfed behind. We may do the possibility of up to a thousand tanks a day. Our main industry is known for the marine world, um, but we do a lot with the agriculture, we do a lot in construction, we do a lot with waste vegetable oil. Um, you know, facility maintenance and things of that nature. You know, you little scrubbers and floor sweeps and basically anything that needs a tank. So when it comes to plastic rotational molding, think molar. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.